Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So it has officially been a year since I found out I passed my last section of the CPA exams. <laughs> no! That's so weird because I imagined that I would score an 81. Oh my gosh! I did I'm done! By the way, I am filming this video on a brand new camera. This is the Acaso Brave 7 LE. My dad got me this camera for Christmas and I love it because it's really small and so I can just throw it in my bag and it's really easy to carry around and also it has a front screen which I really love because I've been talking about how I wanted a camera with a front screen so then this way when I'm filming I can see myself on the screen and not have to like guess where I am on the screen or like use a mirror or something and so from now on I will be filming my videos on this camera. It is waterproof and there's also a lot of other features you can do with this camera. So I think I will get a lot of good use out of it. Also if you saw any of my videos from last month you know that I mentioned in one of those videos that my sister had an American Girl doll when she was little and guess what? I found her at home and I brought her to New York City with me. So I'm gonna introduce you to her. This is the American Girl doll that my sister had when she was little. Isn't she pretty? I feel like she's so cute. And like, I think we look alike. Like, do you guys think we look alike? I think we look alike. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put her on my bed now. But my sister did say that I can bring her to my apartment and yeah, just have fun with her and then I'm probably gonna bring her back home over the summer when I go visit my family again. But anyways, enough with the rambling. I'm going to talk about this year post CPA exams because it has been a really, really good year. So make sure you're subscribed to the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss a video if you're notified. Oh, so one year post CPA exam, it has been a really good year. I found out on January 11th that I passed my last exam, which was audit. And what's interesting is that I actually found out I passed audit exactly a year after the first time I ever took the audit exam. So if you watched any of my other CPA videos, you know that it took me five tries to pass the audit section of the exams. And out of the four sections, that one was one that I was probably least expecting me to take the most amount of tries. I was expecting FAR or REG to take me a lot more tries, but for some reason audit was my struggle. So I took audit for the very first time on January 11th of 2020, and then I took it again on July 11th of 2020. I took it again on October 19th of 2020, and then I took it two times in December of 2020. And then I found out on January 11th of 2021 that I passed audit. So it was exactly a year from the first time I took the audit exam. I did take some of the other sections in between there. I didn't just take that exam that many times, but I wouldn't wait to get my scores back before I started studying for the next section. If I found out that I failed, then I would just retake that exam after whatever exam I was studying for at the moment. Because for me, I always feel like I need to take a break from each section. I feel like if I just keep studying the same material and I'm not passing it, it's just gonna drain my brain. But that's just me. I know some people, they like to take a section and then pass it before they move on to the next section. But for me, I do kind of like to go back and forth between the sections if I find out that I didn't pass it. I feel like it feels a lot longer than a year but I think it's just because I've had a lot going on. And when I was home last month for the holidays with my family, my dad was saying how he thought it had been two years since I passed the CPA exams. And I was like, no, it's only been a year. So I guess he also feels like it was a while ago. The first time I had ever heard of the CPA exams, and I've said this in a video before, but I heard of the CPA exams for the first time when I was a freshman in college and it was during my second semester of my freshman year of college. So basically for your first, second, and third semester of college, you do have to meet with your advisor once per semester just to make sure you're taking the right classes and you're on track to graduate on time. And when I went to meet with my advisor my second semester of freshman year, I remember my advisor was talking to me about how I could take some classes over the summer and then I could get my 150 credits in my bachelor's within four years 
and she also brought up the idea of the MSA program to me, which was the Masters of Science in Accounting. And I didn't really think too much about the CPA exams or the Masters of Science Accounting or my 150 credits back then because I was just a brand new college student. I had only been in college for one semester and I wasn't really thinking that much about after college. And she said that if I took some extra classes over the summer or if I did the MSA program, then I would get my 150 credits and I could be all set for the education requirements for the CPA exams. And I remember when she told me that, it felt like it would be a really, really long time before I would pass the CPA exams. In my mind, I just thought that's the end goal, that's way in the future. Little did I know, five years later, I would have gotten my Master's of Science in Accounting and I would have passed the CPA exams. And during my second semester of freshman year, I never thought that I would be able to finish the CPA exams and get my 150 credits at such a young age. It just wasn't even a thought in my mind. And at that time, I hadn't even taken my first accounting class yet. I didn't take my first accounting class till my first semester of my sophomore year of college, and it was the intro to financial accounting. And it was hard because that was my first accounting class. It was the first time I was exposed to the world of accounting. My professor for that class, I would say, was okay. He wasn't the greatest at teaching, but it wasn't too hard and I was able to teach myself a lot of the concepts and material and I remember every time we had class he would have these handouts and at the top of every single handout he would always have a quote of the day and he would just talk about the quote of the day for probably the first five minutes of class and I did think that the class was okay I didn't love the class but I also didn't hate it either. And I have to be honest, after I took that class, I did think about maybe changing my major. I knew I still wanted to be in the business school, but I thought maybe I could try a different major because even though I didn't hate accounting, I also wasn't really that in love with it. But I decided to stick with accounting just because I do really like working with numbers. I also really like business. And so I knew accounting was the perfect combination of that. So I went into college as an accounting major and I graduated as an accounting major. I never changed my major during college, which I know that's pretty rare. I feel like most people change their major at least once. But for me, I just was an accounting major during my entire time in college. During my second semester senior year of college, I did apply to the Masters of Science and Accounting program and I did that solely just to get my 150 credits for the CPA exams. You do not have to get a master's degree in order to be qualified to become a CPA, but for me that was the easiest and fastest route to get my 150 credits. So that's what I ended up doing and while I was getting my master's, I was also studying for the CPA exams and taking the CPA exams and I was able to finish my master's program in 11 months and I passed the CPA exams in 18 months. And it is hard to study for the CPA exams while you are working full time and I know that the older you get, the harder it becomes to pass the exams just because you're not used to studying anymore and also you have other commitments and you just don't really want to do it. So I really recommend that if you are new, fresh out of college, pass the CPA exams as soon as you can because the longer you wait, the harder it gets. So on January 11th, I found out at night that I passed the CPA exams and of course, I posted onto my Instagram and Facebook telling everyone that I had passed. I already had pictures taken and so I just posted the pictures and then just wrote a little description to go along with it, which I think I'm going to actually read my post to you on my phone. I had the same post on Instagram and Facebook, so I guess I'll go to Instagram. On Instagram. So this was my post 
I wrote, this day has finally arrived. Very excited to announce that I passed the CPA exams after 18 months of studying. Thank you, mom, dad, and everyone who supported me along this journey. I truly couldn't have done it without you. This has been one of the biggest challenges I ever faced with many ups and downs along the way. Today has been a dream. To everyone who is working towards any goal, don't give up. It might not be easy, but it will be worth it. And then I wrote CP exams with a check mark next to it, symbolizing that it is done and over. And I got a lot of likes on that post. I did apply for my CPA license already because I fulfilled the work requirement, but I don't have my CPA license yet because I know it takes them a little bit of time to get that issue to you but once i get my cpa license you bet i am going to be going onto my social media and posting something else about me getting my license which my mom has actually been sending me different ways that other people have been announcing that they got their cpa license or that they passed the cpa exams just as examples to give me some ideas about how i can make my post so it has been a really really good year. Like I said, a lot has happened during this past year. Right after I passed CPA exams, I went through my first busy season, which was not that fun. But then after busy season, it was really fun because I just got to enjoy the summer and also go spend time with my family and also just focus on YouTube. And I also moved to New York City and it's been really, really nice. And looking back on my experience it was really hard part of me did kind of wish that i didn't go through it but i think me going through that experience it really gave me a lot of confidence that i can pass the exams and if i decide to pursue a different career later on i don't think i would regret going through the cpa exams I mean, maybe I'll regret it a little bit because I would feel like I went through all of that for nothing. But if I do decide to go down a different career path, which I really don't think I will, but if it does happen, at least I know in the back of my mind that, oh, I made it through this hard thing that was a CPA exams, then I can definitely go through whatever it is that comes my way in life. So that is it for this video. I think that's all that I have to say. I did make a six month post CPA exam reflection, which I will link on the screen and in the description below. And I said a lot of things in that video that you could probably apply to this video also. So I don't want to repeat what I said already, but I am going to go now. I wish you the best of luck if you're studying for the CPA exams because I have been in your shoes and I promise you that if you just keep working hard and you just keep taking the exams and don't give up which that is the good thing because it doesn't matter how many times you take the CPA exams as long as you pass it in the end no one really cares how many times you take it so thank you so much for watching this video make sure you're subscribed to the notification turn on so you'll never miss a video if you're notified and I will talk to you next time goodbye